In this video, I want to talk to you about using proxy files in Premiere Pro CC. This is a great way in order to speed up workflow if you're working with, in particular, 4K files and you feel like your system just can't really handle it and it starts lagging. Using proxy files is definitely a great way to get around that and to speed up that workflow. If you've already imported footage and you want to convert the footage into proxy files, I'll show you how to do that. But if you're importing footage and you want to convert the files into proxy files upon import, then you can also do that. And that's what I'll start with. So if you are in your media browser, you will see that you've got this ingest selection and also a settings icon. So if you click on the settings, then you'll be presented with a dialog box. You will have general scratch disk and ingest settings tab. Just select ingest. You'll have four options. What you want is create proxies. Once you've selected that, presets will become available and you can select what quality of footage you want to convert to. So I tend to go with 1280 by 720 h.264 and basically what it's doing is it's creating lower resolution versions of the footage that you import or that you've already imported so that you can work easier with it and it's not gonna um, your system isn't gonna create any lag when you're trying to play back the footage in premiere so i'm just going to select this one and i keep the proxy destination the same as the project so wherever your premiere profile is that's where your proxy files will be and it will be appended with underscore proxy one of the things that i did read in an article i'll find it for you and put the link in the description is that if you put the proxy files in the same directory as the original footage files there can be some confusion between the two so it's best to keep them completely separate so I'm going to select OK and you'll see now that ingest has been selected. So if I go ahead and pull in any of these clips, I'll go for this one. I'm just going to drag it into my footage folder. As soon as I import that, Media Encoder will open and start converting the footage. And you can see it's working its way to converting that footage now. If you're in Premiere and you want to keep working, you can still keep working with the file and this will just carry on in the background so it doesn't stop you from continuing to do any edits. But once it's finished, that means that the proxy file is available. So I'll just head back over to Premiere and there's nothing that you'll be able to see in Premiere itself. It hasn't imported the file, but it has made a link with the footage so that it's linking to the proxy file. So if you go to your project panel and right click, select meta display, and in here, I'm just going to type proxy because there's a setting that will allow you to, to know whether a piece of footage is linked to a proxy file. So I'm just going to select this, hit OK, and then I should have there. So if there's no proxy attached, I'm just going to switch off ingest and pull in another piece of footage just so that you can see the difference. So here there's nothing attached, no proxy attached, but this file, the one that I imported earlier, that has a proxy attached to it. And that's how you can tell whether there's a proxy attached or not. So I'm going to pull the footage that has the proxy attached onto my timeline so that I can create a sequence. It's created a sequence here for me. I'm just going to put it in this folder. So now this is still the original footage and I'll show you how you can now start to use the proxy file. If you go to the source monitor and click button editor, you'll see you've got all these icons. The proxy one is this one, and this is what toggles proxies on and off. All you have to do is drag it down and put it alongside all the other icons that you have. Click OK, and it's there. Click on it, it'll turn blue, and that will show that you are now using the proxy. If I just switch it off again and try and scrub through this, this is a 4K piece of footage, by the way, this was shot on the DJ Phantom 3 Professional. I'm gonna scrub through this, and you can see it's very jerky. It's not playing back smoothly at all. Another way that I can tell that this is not gonna be smooth playback is by this little circle, I guess. It's yellow at the moment, and if it's green, that means that we have smooth playback, and that's essentially what we want. So I'm gonna switch proxies on, 
and I'm gonna try and scrub through again. I still may have problems, but hopefully it's a lot smoother, but it's still skipping some frames. Another way that you can get around that is by changing the playback quality. So I have this at full quality. Again, we're still using the proxy, so it's playing back at 720, but I can take it down to say um, half quality playback and I can scrub through. Again, it's still a little bit jerky, but if I actually play it through, then it's completely smooth. I have none of the chugging that I had before. If you wanna work with a file that you've already imported and it has no proxy attached, all you have to do is right click, select proxy and create proxies. The dialog box will open, you'll choose your format and you'll choose your preset. I'm gonna go with, again, 1280, 720. Make sure that your destination is set to your project, so wherever your Premiere profile resides. Select OK. Head over to Media Encoder and it started rendering out that proxy file for you. So there it's finished, we head back over to Premiere and you can see now that we have a proxy attached. So that is pretty much all you need to do in order to use proxies. Thanks for checking out this video. If it was useful, hit the like and I'm gonna be doing more of these videos. Um, I'm always using Premiere, so anything that someone asks in a group, I'll try and create a video for. So subscribe if you wanna see more of these and I'll see you on the next video.